We are streaming and we are live. Good evening, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Suarez HQ. It's sweltering, it's hot, it's sticky, it's humid, it's 40 degrees in here. Aidy's got fans, I've got fans, we're trying to stay cool. But the one thing we can definitely guarantee you here this evening, my friends, is we are going to create something pretty amazing. We're doing a groundbreaking technique that has never ever been tried before we can't wait to share that with you but right this second we're gonna roll some titles Hello, hello, hello. Yes, we are back in the room. Welcome, everybody. Now, if you've just joined us on Instagram, because we've just switched the phone on, <laughs> it's as technical as that, then welcome, everybody. I'm very, very excited to get going. If you're watching this live, thank you very much for being here. And if you're watching this on replay, well, my goodness me, wait until you see the end. It turned out unbelievable. How do I know that? Because I'm about to show you what we're doing tonight. But very first... Before we do any shout outs, any hellos, and all that, we're just going to check that all the camera angles are correct. We know corner cam is a okay. Instagram guys, stay where you are. Let's go to PDZ. Okay, slidey cam. Don't worry, guys, all become clear. There you go. Boom, slidey cam is working. Fantastic. Let's race over here. Now let's do overhead or crouch down. Buongiorno, welcome in, beyond the new, and all the other things. And finally, room cam. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there we go. Let's get over wander. Okay, now, my friends, exciting things are happening. We've just walked past the bench. I'm going to show you what's going on, but let's just grab our friends of Instagram so we can all sing from the same hymn sheet. I'm going to just park you guys over here. Lovely to see so many of you being here tonight. Thank you very much. We will do some shout outs a little bit later on. Ooh, say that says amazing. Right, okay, we're on Roam Cam. Let's talk you through the meat and potatoes of what's going on on this broadcast. We have got a pre-base coated canvas, 230 centimeters by 170. Oh yeah. But oh, hang on just a minute, Ed. What is this? What is this I'm pointing at right now? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a giant rotating barrel. Look at that. Right, let me just walk and talk you through that. There is, there is a reason for this. I'm not going to reveal it because uh, we're going to be building up to something pretty extraordinary. But I need to introduce you to the equipment. This is our uh, self-built, AD designed amazing piece of, uh, of tech. It's low-tech, but it's high-tech, if you see what I mean. And onto this, we've got some canvas. There we go. We've got a roller canvas, which incidentally is that size. I wonder if any of you can work out what we're going to do tonight. Instagram, that includes you guys as well. So this is where we're going to start. What I've also got as well is a table full of paint. Oh my goodness me. Look at that. How cool is that? There we go. Let's go, let's go for a bird's eye fly across the top of the paint. Look, Rocket Red. Rocket Red has made an appearance after about nine, ten months. We don't have a lot of Rocket Red because... We don't have a lot of Rocket Red because it's hideously expensive. Way more expensive than the Queen's Gold, which we're also using tonight. There we go. A nice full spectrum of colour. And those little bad boys and the shot glasses are going onto that canvas there. I've got my fingers in my gloves. So I think... Shall we get going, everybody? What do you think, buddy? Shall we just do it? Shall we get going? Do it! Just... Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Nothing is impossible. No, what are you waiting for? Do it. Just do it. Yes, you can. Now, I do have to say, uh, folks, this we've never 
ever tried this before and I'm, I'm genuine about this I know we say it a lot but I have to point it out again when we put that in the titles about groundbreaking the world's first we've recent we've genuinely never seen this before and we don't even know if it's going to work so we are right at that cutting edge we, we literally only thought of this what well, Aidy thought of this two hours ago so we put all this together and conceptualized it in under two hours in 40 degree heat the pair of us are absolutely exhausted but we hope to give you a real treat so i'm going to get the first lot of paint on we'll do all the shout outs a little bit later on uh right here we go please please do let me know if you've got any questions la, 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 la. and i'm going to start applying some paint oh yeah now i've got i think 30 odd shot glasses I want to be quite accurate with this. It's all planned out in my head. Like I say, we've conceptualised it. We've done a practice run as well. I'm always, I'm always the person who likes to practice, you know. Now, a lot of you are suggesting some pretty cool things at the moment, which is really interesting. <laughs> Roller pot says, let's roll. Excellent. So, it will become clear. Now, because I've never done this before. There you go. That's the first one on. Um, what I'm unsure about is how much paint I'm actually going to need. So, I mean, it's not going to take that long. I thought, oh my God, when Adi and I were discussing it earlier, we were like, Oh, dude, this is going to take forever. But actually, I don't think it is. What I think we'll actually be doing, uh, this is kind of fun, we're going to be building the painting up, obviously, as, as we're speaking, with these small dots. <laughs> and of course, as we put more paint on, it might become evidently clear what it, what's going to happen. But as you may have uh, kind of guessed, the roller... The big barrel is key. So, seriously, and I know I say this a lot, you don't want to go anywhere or do anything or miss this because we've got one shot at getting this right. It is a one-shot deal, folks. Here goes the Rocket Red. Oh, I haven't used this for a while. Ooh, nice. Look at that for a colour. I have no idea uh, what this colour is going to look like on the cameras. Ah! It's okay. Got to be careful of my drips. I think it's the fan. Ah, the fan's blowing it. Right, sorry everybody. Right, okay. Not to worry. That's fine. That's fine. We're okay. We're okay. Yeah, that was definitely... I could feel the fan blowing. We've got a fan in the corner to try and keep me... a little bit cool. Although it's not really working. I mean, cool temperature-wise. As long as we keep to the dots. Sorry, Insta, I know my derriere is currently parked in your face. Right. This rocket red is mind blowing. I absolutely love it. It's, and it's fluorescent, so of course, if you put a UV light source on it, boom! Christmas tree time. Okay, can we get a little drop of orange? Of course we can. So we're going to get a few more colours on, folks. Who, who said that, bud? So Gregory Horn, yeah, making a very interesting observation about the uh, the paint mask and the toxicity of the paint. Surprising though, Gregory, you do get used to it. You do get used to it. It just becomes just another thing now. You know, actually painting a mask on the odd occasion I've done that is very, very odd experience. So you do kind of get used to these things as time goes on. Okay, so far so good. Um... We, 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 um, the, the mask though does filter all the nasty stuff out though, uh, Gregory, hence why I've got the mask on. And this is a very, very powerful and very good one, a proper industrial one. Um, so we are, we are keen to look after our, all of our health and safety here. Uh, so as long as you take the right precautions, it should never really be a problem. Now, if Damien Hurst is watching, there you go, mate, that's how you do spot paintings. 
<laughs> Just getting all, all contemporary on you there. <laughs> Good to hear, Rita. The Rita loves dots. Excellent. Me too. Circles, you see. Circles are your friends. They go on forever. I love them. Absolutely love them. Right. Okay. We're doing well so far. I thought this would be taking forever, but it isn't. Shot glasses are working well. Again, another one of Aiden's brilliant ideas. I think we should definitely, definitely uh, give him some uh, some chat love, shouldn't we? Please really show your appreciation for the man, the legend. Sat out currently in control. He's got it uh, equally, if not worse than me. I'm slapping paint around. That poor man's got to put a broadcast together in 40 degree heat. So, uh, the legend that he is, we can't do this without him. Quite frankly, we'd never want to. Right. Okay, I'm going to do one more colour after this. Oh, yes, can I get in there? And then we are going to... Let's have a look who's on the stream. We're going to do some shout-outs. And... Yes, we've got to do some purple, haven't we? What do you think, buddy? Shall we give you... My good friend, some purple. Should we give Aidy some purple? There we go, Insta. Purple. Oh, purple. I think he likes that. That's yes. good. <laughs> purple. Right, here we go then. Okay, let's race around and do the purples then. Nice. Wow. I'm trying. Because I know what's coming. What's happening? Trying to balance where these colours need to be and why they need to be there. So everything does have a reason. I'm trying not to leave too much to chance. Ah, oh, look, the gloves have gone already. Ooh, we got some. <laughs> I'm right to this already. This is cool, right? Let's get these gloves changed. Uh, the Rita, chilly here, 60 degrees. Oh dear. Uh, Soleil, I love you, Suarez. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, what have we got? Kim Bostic, hello, uh, Kim. Um, you can pick us on the right. I'll tell you what, let's go from the top. Miss Prissy was first through the door. Zane Taylor and uh, Annette. Hello, Annette. State Wench 2, glad you're here on the stream. Great to see you. Charlene, welcome aboard. Denise has received her Patreon original Suarez today. It's all going on in, a, in the week's household. Thank you, Denise, for letting us know. We'll come back to that very shortly. A time for art. And we've got Eleanor, Lucia. Now, Brenda, hello from Florida. Serge Oliver Nosh. Good to see you. PJ loves Jesus. Welcome. Now, David Southern. Howdy, y'all from Dallas. Great to see you. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. 1816 Regina, CNB, and J. Bouvet. Hello, Jackie. Hey, Bobby. Uh, Christine is also here. Thank you for sharing our content this week over on Facebook. Christine, very kind. Nelson Juan, folly a uh, blast in the past. Great to see you. Hi, Pia. And Carla and Astrid. And Christopher. Hello, Christopher. Still got an hour before he does anything. Rubbish. Hey. Okay. And we got Albert and Samara and uh, Sarah and uh, Angel. Hello, caught her first live, Angel. Welcome aboard, Lane Angel. Uh, Lynn is also here. Lee Archer. Hello, Lee. Some very nice comments you've been leaving this week. Thank you, Lee. That's very kind. Uh, Kay Still. We said hello to Gregory. Falzia. Who else have we got? I'm going through it. Gail. Yes, we've got Lynn. Hello, Gail. Uh, oh, it's very, very good guest, Gail. Very good guest, Gail. I like it. Azza is also here. Uh, we said Matthew, didn't we? Of course we did. State when she's Selina. Uh, bonjour from Le France. A lappy 402 from Germany. Guten Tag, Zach Llewellyn. And a lightning S girl. I from Whitby. From Whitby. Hey up, love. How's it going in Whitby? Is it all right? Lovely. Right, okay. Let's get some red on. We'll come over to you guys on Instagram very, very shortly. Now, got to tell you, gotta, oh, we've, got, we've got everybody from all four corners of the globe, haven't we? I do like this. This is going to be pretty special, I reckon. Right, red is going to feature quite a lot here. 
So we're going to get plenty of red on. Do not panic. Thank you, Nelson. Nelson was honouring our work. That's very, very sweet of him to say. Thank you. Right, instead we're going to move you over in just a second. Feeling energised here, look. This is good, man. This is good. Right, we've got red there, got red. I do... Let's have one more there. Just a smaller one. I'm also trying to control the volumes of paint, so not everything gets the same volume put down all at the same time. Um, this is good so far. And of course, as we start to fill up, it's going to be a lot easier to figure out where stuff's got to go. We're going in with the first of the lime greens. Mm, nice. Look at that. Uh, I'm not sure if I said hello to Angelo. Hello, Angelo. You're also here as well from uh, from Italy. And Linda from Southwest Michigan. Excellent. I hope you're well, Linda and Angelo. Thank you both for being here. Now, Aidan's just going to zip off for a second and change his battery. Meantime, we're going heavy in with the line. I love the line. I'm, I've got the other one here. It's kind of half full. So we're really, really going to plug some of these gaps up now with the line. Okay, I think... Okay, with where it needs to go. No, that's it, isn't it? it looks like a giant painting version of Twister. There we go. So getting that one on there. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Zach, Suarez Art, every Wednesday. You're very right. Now then. Move on. Insta, uh, Karim, Hondo, Tanya, and 44 LHR Joy. Thank you all, guys, for being here. This is going to look a bit like, um, we've already mentioned, haven't we, the spot paintings of Damien Hurst. <laughs> well, this is our take. We're going in now with the Piaggio Green. Again, our, the green's going to feature quite prominently in this piece. So I'm not going to be shy with their use. It's such a great colour, this is. One of my absolute favourites in terms of what we do. And I am going to be using all of the shot glasses. So let's just think, got that side done. Let's move through the centre with this. And I'm also going to be looking at my lines as well as the gaps. Lines are important. I need to make sure my lines are good. Uh, all will be revealed because you may have guessed what we're going to be doing with the barrel. In not too much time at all. But in order for that to be right and correct, of course, I have to get this bit right. And I'm sure if you're watching on a screen somewhere, or even if you're lucky enough to be on a big TV, it'd be quite interesting now to see this, thinking, oh no, put some there, or what about yellow, or you've got too much red. I wonder if, <laughs> I wonder if you're having that same that conversation with yourself. Hello, Zari. Very nice to hear from you. Dale. Dale from Texas. Howdy, y'all. Ah, Lewis. Northwest Territories in Canada. Excellent. And Danuta, we've got from Vancouver. Hello, Danuta. Great to hear that you're here tonight. And Sly Romo from Dallas, Texas. Excellent. We've got we've got a lot of people from Texas tonight. Carol Lady is from Alabama. I love finding out where everybody's from. Isn't this great? We're completely global. Isn't this wonderful? And Hex Jacked is Oslo. Interesting. So we're getting out into the Nordics as well. Good to hear. Asa is Casablanca. Wow. Mm. I'm not going to do the impression. <laughs> Frankly, my dear, we need more Rocket Red. I did the impression. I'm so sorry. I'll get my coat. Right, we're going to do one more pair of these purples, and then we're going to move in. We're going to move into the yellows and the pinks. Mm. Now I know that here, I'm going to have to start dotting around. <laughs> I couldn't resist that. Uh, the yellows and the pinks. So I've tried to assemble this in a reasonably kind of thought out chronological order. I don't actually know whether what's going to happen is actually going to mean that I achieve that or not. But 
I don't think we're going to be that far off very shortly, folks. I'm going to leave the Queen's Gold for a second. Now, I've got two Canary Yellows, and I've got three Melons. So, uh, it's not a sentence I thought I'd hear myself saying. So, let's get the Canary on first. I only want... Oh! Damn, darn it. Um, I only want the little soups on here and there. Right, let me just sort this out. Give me a second, folks. Anise has said hello from Iran. Hello, Anise. I hope everything is good with you today. Carl's got to go. Ah. Well, we'll wait for you, Carla. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. But obviously, in all seriousness, Carly, you, hopefully you know by now, it'll be, you know, as soon as we finish broadcasting, you'll be able to watch the whole thing on the channel, which is cool. Now, can you see what's happening? And suddenly, we're transforming this now with the inclusion of this bright yellow. I don't need too much of it. Really? Matthew, pick or sign, we'll get to the back of the class. Pop tart. Pop tart with sprinkles. What have you been, what have you been smoking? Ah, oh. <laughs> hot tart with sprinkles, you are. <laughs> oh, you do make me laugh. Right, loving your comments, folks. It's, you're hilarious tonight. That's great. Right, so we've got the canary yellow on, uh, which is great. And Insta, let's move you guys a little bit over here. Ah, so Michelle, good evening, Michelle. Do I prefer using enamel paints or acrylics? What's the difference between the two? Oh my goodness, where do I even start? Well, enamel paints uh, are a solvent based as opposed to acrylics, which are a water based. Um, what do I prefer using? Uh, well, I think you can probably tell. Uh, it's definitely these. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I, I just find acrylics quite restrictive, even when you you have the opportunity of putting all these you know, this stuff that you can buy inside them, like extenders and Floetrol and retarding agents and all this kind of stuff. You need to change their behaviours. But in actual fact, you can never, ever get the kind of finish that you get with these. And it's, I'm just really excited by that. And the fact that because there aren't many people using them, there, there's an obvious challenge there, isn't there? Saying, OK, well, how do, we, how do we break the stigma of that? How do we use the material? Of, bring this into the public consciousness that really, really wants to kind of be heard on its own terms, you know, and um, I, I think even though it was popularised in the 40s and 50s with a lot of the abstract expressionist movements, um, it, it's kind of never really done anything sort of past that. Well, that's because it's a bit of a nightmare to use, and of course in this day and age where we're all incredibly health and safety conscious, it doesn't really sort of form in anyone's kind of radar or vocabulary uh, and I love the challenge of it I love being able to challenge ourselves and say okay well let's use this material where, where can we take it what can we do with it you know week after week we're still discovering new things and it's, it's a paint that we're constantly changing it's a paint that we absolutely love and um, I don't think we'll ever change uh, Julia hello from Portugal now Nicholas I'm uh, uh, his Bobo says hello. Hello, Bobo. Good boy. <laughs> uh, Gary. Gary uh, has made it. You're from Texas. Another from Texas. Hi, Gary. Good to see you back here again. SVG. Hi, Veronica. Naira Jeffs. Oi, oi, Savaloy. <laughs> Loving this so far, mate. You can't wait to see it finished. Thank you, Naira. Uh, that's very kind of you. Uh, am I doing a blood painting today from uh, Veronica SVG? Well, you'll have to, you're, you've got to stay on look because... We're going to do something pretty awesome with the barrel very, very shortly, so stay exactly where you are. Truce for Bruce says, how's it going, Suarez? Well, I think it's going rather well. A dash of pink, anyone? Yes, a little dash of magenta. Let's, let's get it on, right? Let's do this side first. No, I haven't got a lot, so I've got to be reasonably careful. Let's go for one there. Nice. And we'll have one of those bad boys there. And let's go one there. We'll go there. Got to have one there. Just a little, little soups on. That's that one gone. Now, of course, this is where... I'll just go in front. No, I won't. I'll do it from this side. Right? This is where, being very careful now with the paints. 
is I try and get the sort of colour uh, distribution, I think that's the word I'm looking for, uh, as accurate as I can and as widespread as I can. Right, I need one more pink and I don't have enough. Right, okay, not to worry, I'll improvise. Oh, I've got one. Oh, CB from Arizona. Gosh, it must be hot there. Haven't we got an amazing contingent tonight, folks? Loads of you tuned in to watch. Thank you. Can we just say, on behalf of Aidy and myself, a massive thank you to all of you who've tuned in. Um, we don't know. We simply do not know if this is going to work. But I hope you can stay where you are because we, we've got the crescendo to come. We've got something pretty amazing, obviously, which is what happens uh, when we utilise the barrel. So I don't know what's going to happen. None of us do, but we're all going to find out together. <laughs> I'm super, super excited. I'm aspiring. I'm sweating. I can barely feel my legs. But I think this is going to be pretty epic. Right. Okay. Two colours left. <laughs> Dotism or point or pointism from Gary. Yeah, well, well, at the moment, I'll give you that, Gary. I'll give you that song. Um, yeah, it, it's definitely one of the two, but it's probably not going to stay like that for too long. That's all I'm going to say. All right. That's all I'm going to say. We're doing just a few random dots of black here and there. We can't forget the um, the neutrals, and the monochromes. We've still got the Queen's Gold to put on, which is going to be epic. Now I need to just very, very, very choosy where the black goes. Okay, there's going to be just a couple in the middle. Ooh, that's thick and treacly. I love it. Now we need to lighten up where we need a little bit of light. Let's go on there. Oh, Brenda. Good idea. Are we going to connect the dots? Well, who knows, Brenda? Who knows what's going to happen? This is the world of Suarez. Anything could happen. It's how crazy we are. We've got a reasonably good idea about what's going to happen, but of course, the best laid plans, etc., etc. Uh, so, C C CB, yes. Thank, thank you for the um, observation about the mask. Um, sadly, with the mask, the mic, sorry, the mic. What you've got to understand is, is that uh, we have a, a 90 decibel extractor, literally three feet from my ears. And, uh, of course, the big problem here is we haven't used software to filter that noise out. Um, and the, the other thing is, of course, we're using uh, microphones, very high quality ones, albeit, but we're using them in a context that they're really not supposed to be used for. These are conference microphones, and I've stuffed it inside a helmet, which itself is noisy. So we're really up against it. I try not to shout. I'm sorry, I get very into what I'm doing and excited about it. Um, but there really, at the moment, isn't a better system for it. So, you know, apologies for that. We, we work hard trying to give a Give up, make all the tech work, but it's very difficult sometimes. In fact, CB, if you, when this, when this broadcast's over, if you go back to the very first live stream we ever did, um, now, you'll find that in the playlists, uh, the live stream playlist, then you'll see just how bad the audio was when we first started it. But I mean, it, you know, it was catastrophic. I had an umbilical cord attached to me, for goodness sake. I mean, what's all that about? <laughs> Right, just need to change the gloves. We are getting there, folks. We're not far away, I assure you. Let me just change my gloves. <laughs> From dots to stripes. Mm, could be. Chucky, could be. Uh, CB, in that case, it sounds brilliant. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Impotter 13. Hello from Utah. Just the dots and already exceeding... Exci oh, eliciting happiness for me. I'm very glad. Uh... Wait for him to pull out the hairdryer and blowtorch. Interesting. Right, guys, just give me a second. I need to take some water because I've got to keep hydrated. I hope that's all right for everyone. Just give me a second. Oh, 
Okay, microphone should be back on. Let me just do a, a sound mic test with AD. You can still hear me? Okay. Fantastic. Oh, Lee Archer can understand me through the buzzy buzzy. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> The <laughs> buzzy wizzy, that's awesome. Can you see, look, you see it? See it? It's, it looks like a hedgehog. No, stuffed right under under my chin. That's where it is. Oh gosh. Right. Okay. So, 133 people watching now, which is awesome. Guys, if you're enjoying this so far, please do give us a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Thank you very much, because it tells the YouTube computers and bots you're enjoying this and you never know it might just recommend it out to somebody else thank you so much thumbs up would be appreciated we're almost at that point it's almost barrel time do not go away you don't even want to blink three colors left and it's happening okay remember guys as well there's lots of new people joining us tonight thank you it's great to see so many people here from all the way across the globe if you're not already subscribed please do give a click on that big red button and smash the bell icon so you never miss any of our upcoming videos because you never know when we're just going to do this spontaneously we've got tons of cool things to come and also we've got lots of our patrons on board tonight yay it's great to see you guys one of them denise i hope you don't mind me calling you out has actually received her original suarez painting today on a tile they are amazing i've got one over there but i can't show you now they're just going to show you what they look like on the screen they are mind-blowing it's so so simple to become a patron yeah, for just a few bucks here and there, you can support us on the channel. And uh, we'll even give you one of our original 102 Suarez original tiles. They are unbelievable. That's all that will ever be made. They're individually painted and signed and serial numbered. And you could be getting one of those very, very shortly. Okay, just click down in the description and go visit our Patreon page. And it'll explain exactly how you can do it. Marvellous. Right, folks, back to the action. Three colours left. The barrel's in play. Gold, 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 gold. I can hear the Spando Bally song right in my ears just now. Oh, that's rich. It's thick. Sadly, two traits that I don't possess. <laughs> Say what? And for that, well, at least one of them, I'm quite pleased. <laughs> right, gold is going to make a big difference here, guys. So I need to take a few short, long looks away and figure out where the gold needs to go. Okay, and I think we're, uh, I think we're okay. Just reasonably distribute this. This is going to be the only metallic element in this. So I want to make sure that we're represented, represent in, in the right kinds of places. Now I've got three of these to put on, so that's great. Let's get another one. Oh no, I've used two of them. Have I just used two already? Oh my word. Bruce for Bruce. Banksy who? Question mark. <laughs> Still does remind me of our next door neighbour, Mr. Hurst. Um, and his pickled sharks. Who is 100 yards away from us on the estate. I don't know if you knew that or not. Um, we go past his factory every day. Right, great. So, we're almost there now. We're almost there. Come on, come on, you can do it, son. Who just asked that? Zane. So, Zane asking, does the roller come to the canvas? Or does the canvas go to the roller? Well, Zane, I'd, I'd be telling, wouldn't I? If I was to divulge that information. Right, we've got one, we've got a couple left, so we're just going to get a couple of rocket reds. All right, we're all, we're, we are, I know I keep saying it, but we're almost there, folks. All right, we are almost there. Do not, do not do anything else now. I don't even think you've got time to go and make a cup of tea. Because I'll literally be done in seconds. Now, remember, I'm building the tension here. Do you like what I'm doing? I'm building the tension. Neither AD or I have ever tried this before. I've got to make that absolutely known, so you all know that. And that's just to try and help manage your expectations a little, because if this works... If this actually works, it is going to be legendary. And if it falls flat on its face, not what I'm going to tell you, um, then 
<laughs> we can but find out, can't we? And that's what we're going to do. Right, that rocket red, I'm loving that. Dropper Suarez, blue. Is there any colours I've missed? Can, can anybody think of any colours that I might have missed? I think I've pretty much... No, I've got black on me. Uh, Aidan just reminded me about black, because I still have to... I haven't got any. Oh, um, oh, it's interesting. Right, yeah, silver. David Southern. Hello, David. Asking, how do we stretch the paintings when they're dried? Um, well, it's a manual process. With some staple guns and a lot of elbow grease and some canvas stretching pliers. Now, I've actually got a video out on the channel about how to stretch. Um, which you could refer back to if you wanted to actually see it being done. Um, it's quite a tedious process. We're pretty good at it now. We can do it fairly quickly, but it's still an old school way. There's nothing like that handmade finish, really, is there? I love it. I love it. I love the fact that it's all is handmade. Right, slightly light in the centres now. So we're just going to pop some very small dots uh, just to fill up a couple of gaps. And then I'm going to ask my eyes in the sky if, if there's any points of the canvas that's not really sort of catered for in terms of gaps. Age is just uh, chatting to me in my ears. Yeah, okay, mate. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I've got it's going to take hours to do this, mate. <laughs> I'm going as quick as I can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. We were just having a chat between us then on the closed mics. So I'm not going stupid by talking to myself. Uh, no crystal. We're not there yet. But we will be in a minute. Yeah. Are you shouting at your TV set? Come on, Ed. Come on. <laughs> well, you made it this far. We're all being part of something very special tonight, and it's almost, almost at that point. In fact, how many have I got left? I got, yeah, just a couple left. We're going to go one purple, one green, and I think, I think, friends, we're about to get crazy with the roller. The barrel. <laughs> Uh, so Diane asking, do I hear the chat in my ears? No. No, my learned colleague outside is also, as part of his many multitasking abilities, is trying to pick out some of your comments to be able to read to me. And he's feeding that into my ears. And then uh, it means I know who's chatting. And we can actually have a conversation without having to sit at a laptop, which would um, probably get extremely frustrating for all of you. So, like I would say to Ed, Gary Fasser says there's gaps on the edges. And then I would say, oh, Gary has commented on the gaps on the edges. And then I'd talk about that for a moment. And uh, then when I finish that, if Aidan then sees another comment, um, then he might relay that one to me as well. So, so in amongst all the other things, so we're able to do that as well. Okay. Do you hear the chat in your ears? So, yes, I do. There you go, Diane. So I do hear the chat in my ears, but uh, in uh, probably not the way you might have imagined. So, tw Twinkling Ferocious says dark green, question mark? No, Twinkling Ferocious. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Am I going to use dark green? Well, there is actually a little bit of dark green. I'm going to tell you what the green is. It's called water blue, which is very odd for a green, isn't it? Why would you call green blue? Anyway, right, we're almost there, Instagram. We're almost there. I'm just finishing off the last couple. I know I've been saying that now for three hours, but we really are almost at that point. Mm. 
Do I look overheated, do I, Jackie? Yeah, uh, the trouble is I've got... Here's the problem, I need to keep the hoodie on because I've got all the microphone equipment underneath and what I can't afford is for that to come off my harness with all the bending and the stretching and it fall into the paint. I mean, that would be like... Ah! <laughs> That'd be pretty catastrophic. Okay, I'm going to stop there. You'll be pleased to know. Right. Okay, I'm going to do one final look around and make sure that I've got everything covered where I need it to be. That's not looking bad, you know. It's not looking bad. Distribution. Remember, we are learning here. I've not done this before. If you are just tuning in. The last couple of gaps just need filling. And then, we know what time it is. It's barrel time. I mean, I could probably, I could go around this for the next three or four hours putting dots on dots. <laughs> I quite like it as it is. Is that wrong? Is that, should we do a poll, buddy? Do you fancy doing a quick poll? We'll do a 30 second poll, guys. Do you think it's wrong that I love it as it is? All right, that's going to pop up in the messages now. If you want to join us on the messages, you can anonymously here uh, vote. And let's see, obviously that's not for Instagram. You guys are very patient, sat over there. And there's the poll. <laughs> right, I'm going to reposition you, Instagram. I think that's it with the paint. Let's get the gloves off. That's good. I'm still hydrated. Oh, look, a dry roller, says Diane. Yes. Ooh, 63 for yes. Right, let's, uh, let's pull this around. Okay, there we go. So, Instagram, you have got... The, I need to put you there, actually, don't I? Yes, let's get you right. Thank you, guys. That's awesome. Uh, in fact, let's pull you back a bit, because I'm going to need a little bit of room, because we're about to do something pretty awesome. Uh, no, but I'll move it then after we've got the barrel set. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'll just I can move it to the corner then. Yeah, so we're going to have to move you guys, the run cam over here um, because this is where it's going to start to get a bit crazy. Oh, all right. Yeah, sorry. Aidy's just told me some. Yeah, so Instagram, we're going to move you up here because you might want to see what happens as this gets its special treatment. Right. Okay, guys. This is it. I think we're going for it now. Let's get the gloves on. <laughs> so 60%, yeah, yes. Oh, so it is It is okay then for me to like it as it is. Excellent. Right, I'm just going to quickly ask uh, AD, AD something. Yeah, thanks, Linda. Well, we're about to use the barrel. We're about to use it, folks. Here we go. This is the moment. We're breaking new ground. We've never done this before. I'm just going to quickly ask AD, um as is or with any um, a small amount of thinners just before yeah we are aren't we there's one or two of them are extremely solid but i, I don't know i can't i can't thin it i can't thin it we'll spray it after okay right um yeah uh let me just bring it up which uh which are we on we're on we're on corner right okay yeah that's good let me roll it in, into position this is what we've been waiting for, everybody. Thank you for being so patient with us. And, yep, we've docked. I've made contact with the edge. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, end the poll, buddy. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so we did a quick gallop poll, um, which is great. So then we get rid of the poll there. Mama, he's crazy. Okay, I lost sound. Finally, yes, let's rock and roll. Black Purp, oh, finally. Yes, I know, I know. But I've got to get there, Black Purp, haven't I? I've got to do it, man. We've got to build it up for what it is. Right, okay. This is it, folks. This is it. Aid is just going to pop his mask on and come in and help me push this on. And then we'll see what happens. Now, I have at one end, while Aid is on his way in, let me just talk you through what's going to happen next. Aid has, um, sorry, I've stuck the front side of the canvas down which is the side along here but i haven't stuck any of the rest of it down you probably guessed by now the roller is going to get lifted on i'm going to roll it back and you're going to see what's going to happen with this roller 
as it rolls down. Now, here's the bonus. There's canvas on here. So we're going to get two paintings. Not one, but two paintings out of this. Unbelievable, I know. I don't know what the second one's going to look like, but we can't not do it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the man, the man behind the controls, here he is. AD has made it in. Right, there he is, look. <laughs> Okay, let me just consult. You'll only be able to hear my voice. All right. Now, we're, we're not on the loop now, so I've got to shout at him. Say again? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we're going to stay on corner cam. This is the moment of truth. The moment of truth. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my goodness me. I'm quite nervous now. You ready? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, are we on? Yeah, okay. That's it. Right, okay. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, so what's going to happen now? Okay, well, it stayed on. That's good. Oh, early signs are promising. Can we see that? Mm. All right. <laughs> yeah, let's keep going. Let's be nice and steady on this. Now, what is going to happen to this one? Oh, oh, look. Oh, look at this, folks. Look. Oh, nice. It's a balloon parade. <laughs> it's a balloon fiesta. This is it. It's finally happening. It's all paying off. Thank you for being so patient. Here we go. Um, okay. Yeah. Over this way. That's it. Yep. Okay, we've got to get this off now. Yep. Got to work quickly now, folks. Okay, that's one side. Hang on. Let's get the other one before it trips. Second. Oh, stressy, stressy, stressy. Okay. Yeah. Hang on, I'll go. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Let's just move that up. We've done it. We've actually done it. <laughs> okay. Right. Phase one complete. <laughs> well done, mate. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, my goodness me. Right. <sighs> Can I just get my breath, my breath back? <laughs> Yeah, uh, Linda says, I'm glad that didn't, love that it didn't end up with lines, blue, red, and making babies. Uh, copycat, two for one. It's two for one. Dale says, awesome. How are you, Dale? Diane Kay, uh, once more going the other way. I know, I know. It's tempting, isn't it? Well, apart from that that's going on in the centre, <laughs> it's not done too bad. It has not done too bad at all. Now, oh, let's just take a moment. Did we all get that? Let's take a moment to breathe. Two for the price of one. He's back in control. Thank you, buddy. Right, here he is. Um, Pan says, now it's a diptych. <laughs> Take one, get one free, says Matthew. Yeah, I know. Uh, isn't it great? Uh, squish the paint ahead of the roller to make stripes. Well, there you go. Look, you see? We've surprised you. We've gone, we've gone all spotty. There we go. Now then, now then, now then, now then, folks. We do have that in the centre, okay, but other than that, look, we've got, we've got a big balloon festival going on. Now, the question is, because there's no time to waste, all right, we're going to leave that one where it is, but one of them, I think one of them has to get some fingers on. So let me consult with my uh, esteemed colleague, what do you reckon, mate? Which one's going to get doused in fingers? Yeah, the barrel one's got drips on it, so we're just going to have a, 
yeah, a discussion now on which one gets the thinners on, because that could be quite interesting. Um, yes, I'm wondering whether this one gets gets it, because they'd all be localised, you know, but then, oh, it's, this is such a... Or state went for a special source. Well, you'll be pleased to know I have found a special source, at very least. Or do I use a rake? Oh, now what? Now what? Goodness me. Uh, CB, did you calculate the weight so it wouldn't smear on time and out of drying? Well, as best I could, CB, but, you know, it's, it's um, never done it before, so it's just trying to just trying to figure out what the best thing is, really. Uh, crazy for the eye. Uh, hex jacked. Thank you for that. Um, now then, I'm, I'm going to ask, I'll tell you who I'm going to ask, the Rita. Uh, the Rita. Come on, the Rita. Which one gets the, uh, which one gets it? What do you think? Which one? I'm, I'm priming. I'm going to get the thinners out now. I'm going to give it a good douse. Which one gets it? The one on the table or the one on the floor? I'm tempted to run a pole. It's quite difficult for you to sit. I tell you what, let's grab Roman cams if that's all right with you, buddy. Let's give you a proper look. And then, guys, you can you might be able to tell me which one gets the thinners, and we'll leave it to popular vote. Right, so Roman cam. So this is the one on the table. Okay, so it is it is flat. It doesn't have any kind of tails or wisps or anything else like that. I know we've got the big blob in the centre. Obviously, there's a, a low point on the uh, barrel that's caused that, but that's fine. Something happened. That's okay. And then we've got over here. So we have got, you know, a few drips where, of course, we were trying to take it off the barrel as quickly as possible. Although they are, you know, they are basically a pair. They could be left like that, but it is very tempting now, isn't it? It's just to really, really mess one up and just have a go. Interesting, isn't it? A lot of people are saying the table one needs to be sprayed. Oh, this is so tricky, guys. Don't know what to do now. Should we, should we do the table? Yeah. We can always cut some more canvas and do it again, can't we? All right, then. Shall we do it, buddy? Let's do it. Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just right, just filling up it. my thinners. Yes, you can! Okay. Right, then. I got it, folks. I got the thinners. You wanted the table one spraying. No one should ever say, we don't listen to popular demand. Here's the thinners. Here's the table. I've pumped it up. We're about to get spraying on three, two, one. Matthew's giving us a big old skadoosh. Yeah. Someone's been watching someone's been watching Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice old spray look. And all that's gonna do is it's gonna start delineating some of those forms. What am I talking about? It's just gonna go boom. Is it really? Not a huge amount, but it is. Now it'll just slightly dissolve, so we might almost get this kind of Cool, almost, oh, I don't know, you know, like cell kind of effect or embryonic kind of, oh, I don't know, but what a jolly thing, look. What a jolly thing. Uh, so, Diane K, no, this is not water. No, this is paint thinners. Actually, it's the only thing in our entire weaponry of materials that you can buy off the shelf. And this is a standard mineral thinners designed for solvent-based paints. Very easy to buy. It's a bit like methylated spirits, like white, well, like white spirits, but a more refined version of it. And it is designed to work with these particular paints. Right, we've given that a spray, folks. I'm loving that. <laughs> That's pretty good. The barrel, the barrel was a success. 
we've actually got a successful barrel painting. I probably need to refine the process. Of course I do. But that's pretty cool. I'm just wondering now, I'm just going to quickly ask AD before we wrap things up. That's probably enough thinners because I don't really want it to sort of deform too much. Um, so you can see it from the overhead. Um, yeah. No, so does it does it need more, do you think? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so does it need more? Ada gets a much better viewpoint than me. I mean, I'm looking down on it. It's, it's, it's tricky. Right, we'll give it one more spray, folks. You know, in for a penny, in for a pound. That's ultimately where we're at, isn't it? You know, how do we ever discover what we're truly capable of doing unless we actually are brave enough to have a go? So let's give it one more spray. Let's really see if we can encourage some of these, especially forms that have lost a bit of their shape, um, to sort of regain them. Now, the thing is, it's going to help that because it's going to react in the centre, it's going to react on the edges, and it's also going to react to the base coat that went on earlier. So we, mm -hmm. we're going to leave the balloon one, which I think is like a balloon sort of festival, that one, and then we're going to leave this one to sort itself out. Yes, Lee, how many dots? I wonder how many we've actually got. Well, if it's good enough for Damien Erst, it's good enough for us. Brenda says it's a thousand. <laughs> They are agreeing with me, actually, uh, that we needed a little bit more thinners, a little drop more. Matthew Pickles, I met Atomic Skittles Particle Accelerator. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. I'll, I'll have some of what he's been drinking, all right? Thank well, Matthew, thank you. Right, well, uh, folks, we, we've actually done it, haven't we? Oh, my goodness me. We've actually done it. Let's take one last look on Roman Cam. Because you've all been so jolly patient, and it's been an absolute pleasure to do this with you. Something different. We've never done spots and dots before. Of course, we've never done that here. It's a first at Suarez. And where else can you see two people crazy enough to want to roll a gigantic barrel over the top of a painting? I kid you not. You ain't going to see this anywhere else. I'm super happy with it. Look at the way the gold is coming out. And things are very slowly just starting to move now this is going to be very interesting to see how this turns out and we'll be showing all of our patrons uh, first and then we'll be uh, popping this out on social media uh, probably uh, middle of next week something like that maybe tuesday wednesday something like that so please do look out for that and i think now having tried this we can definitely refine the technique will we do it next week doubt it will we do something else probably but of course, the only real way to find out is to tune in as we take a little walk to our balloon fiesta. Look at that. What a happy thing that is. I absolutely love it. In fact, the drips are cool. I wonder if we could do them all with drips. It would literally be like walking through a field of balloons. Ah, oh, that's the child in me. Isn't that great? There's a splash of happy, colourful things to brighten up your day wherever you are in the world and we've had a truly global audience this evening oh my word hasn't it been incredible ladies and gentlemen thank you so so much for being here i hope you've enjoyed it uh, matthew says uh, skittles have gone super critical uh flicks and white says diane um al's given us a thumbs up uh juan is uh is having a good old laugh thank you juan Regime, that's good, and I'm not sure. Uh, run feathers through at a time for art. Well, you never know. We might do a feathers painting at some point. Who knows? Who knows indeed? Look at that Instagram. Isn't that just looking fantastic? Really loving it. Two for the price of one. How about that? Isn't that cool? Right. Well, folks, we've had one of the biggest audiences I think we've ever had tonight. So if you're still here and still watching, on behalf of Ailey and myself, can we both say a massive thank you? Thank you, thank you, thank you. A round of applause thank for yourself. You, thank you, thank you, thank you. You've all been legends. Thank you so much. I think it actually is the highest viewers we've ever had in one, for one live stream. Oh my goodness me, isn't that something to celebrate? And guess what? We're going to do it all again next week. Who knows what on earth we might come up with, but this is the joy of having complete freedom to do what we want. So we're going to use our enamel paints, I'll be in my mask, and AD will be here, and we're going to do something, another, another first. Who on earth knows? Let's think about that, see what we can come up with. Just leaves us for, say, 
thank you ever so much for watching we're going to be here same time next week it's a wednesday 7 30 p.m british summertime and uh we just want to say a massive thank you to you uh, if you're watching this on catch up please do give us a thumbs up and uh who was it who said who said there was a fat oh almost seventy thousand subscribers we are can you believe that those of you who've been here a while haven't we grown it's amazing please do give us a thumbs up and like share and subscribe amazing right well there you go back to your days thank you folks wherever you are in the world please be peaceful stay well and healthy and make sure you can come back and join us this time next week it's been a pleasure thank you for watching we'll see you next time oh. right david southern will you please show us how they come out next yes yes we will show you how they come out next now there's a very important thing just before you go folks just before you go check this out okay what we've been doing we're going to show you right now on the screen we have actually been doing going one step further than that what do i mean by that well we're now creating these little short videos two three four minutes the private inside life of the paintings so if you really really want to get up close and personal with these incredible works of art these different amazing techniques that we are using then we're going to be doing a few each week make sure you have a look on the channel there's, there's two at the moment for you to watch one another one comes out on wednesday i'm oh, sorry on friday we've got chronology in paradise out there at the moment these short little videos we did both of those on a live stream and now you can see those in the most spectacular detail with me talking you through it they're great little two three minute coffee break videos make sure you go check a couple of those out now when we finish the broadcast drop us some comments let me know what you think awesome next video is out on friday and we've got the vlog coming out on sunday oh my goodness me it's all getting so giddy we've got a million things to show you thank you so much for watching everybody we really appreciate the company we'll see you next time but officially from Aidy and myself we're out of here and have a very very good evening